Reports are a great way to showcase the work that you're doing day to day on a job site. If you'd like to share your photos alongside relevant context and information to your clients or subcontractors, reports are the way to go. To get started, let's open up the Company Cam mobile app and select the project that we're creating a new report in. Once you've got that project open, you'll swipe over to Reports at the bottom of the screen and we'll select Plus Report. Then I'll create a new report. The next step in our report creation process is giving our report a name and selecting how many photos we'd like per page. You can change these at any time, so for now, I'll just give my report a name. And then I'll select how many photos I'd like per page. I'll go ahead and start off with three and then create report. All reports will start off with no sections, so we'll need to add our first section. View sections as a great way to easily organize your report photos and then categorize them by area of the project or the work that you're doing. I'll create my first section and then to give it a title, I'll press that gray pencil icon. Once I've named my report section, I'll also have the option to click into my section summary to start adding important information or findings from the job. View these summaries as a great tool to add additional context about the photos that you'll be slotting in. You also have some great text organization options at the bottom of the screen. I can use those bulleted lists or numerical list buttons, or I can bold and italicize my text. You'll also see I can load text from snippets. This is a great way for you to preload some saved text that you've got in your snippet library. Once you're happy with your report summary for this section, you'll go ahead and you'll back out to that report section screen. Then I can start adding my report photos. I'll press that add or take photos button and I'll add some photos for my project since my team's been on the job site taking photos. Once you've got that photo screen pulled up, you'll have the option to add photos and you can also filter for photos. If I select that filters button at the top left hand corner, I can filter by project if I'm adding photos from another project or I can even filter by tags if my team is using those tags to categorize their photos as they're taking them in the mobile app. Now I'll just go ahead and select a couple of photos that I wanna to add to this damage inspection. and then I'll press add photos at the upper right hand corner of my screen. You'll notice that those photos pulled in, but none of those descriptions pulled in automatically with them. If I need to, I can click into a photo description box, and then I've got those same text options as I did before to bold or italicize, or quickly pop in a snippet from our snippet library. You'll also see I have got some options to load in my comments or my descriptions. These are what your team have left when they were taking those photos out in the field using our quick caption feature in the camera. If I need to, I can press that description button and it's gonna plop in the description that my team left when they were in the camera. Then I'll just press save. The second option is to load in all of those comments and descriptions from the section summary screen. At the top right hand corner, I'll press that options button and I'll load in all photo descriptions. This saves me the time of clicking into each description box and manually loading in that description. If your team left comments, you may also want to use that same button to load in their photo comments. Now that you've got those descriptions and those comments pulled in, now's the time to give it a quick glance and make sure you've got all of the information that you need or spruce up what your team may have left out in the field. I can edit these just by clicking into those description boxes and editing those descriptions and those comments that my team left out in the job site. Once I'm happy with those edits, I'll go ahead and I'll press save at the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now I'll back out into my section page and I will go back out into my report if I need to add additional sections. You can add however many sections that you'd like to your report, but for now, I'll go ahead and stick with this one damage section. But before I share it, I may wanna edit my cover page by clicking on that cover page icon. 
The cover page is what's going to export alongside this PDF. You can add a cover photo if you'd like by selecting on that cover photo box, then choosing the photo you'd like to be displayed as your cover photo. Then I'll press add photos, and now you'll notice that my cover photo has been saved. At the bottom of the screen, I also have some options to add in my company logo. Your logo will be included alongside your report as long as the admins and managers have added that via our web tool. If you need information on adding your logo, visit our Help Center or our YouTube videos to see how to do that. At the very bottom of the screen, I also have some options to toggle on and off some cover page details. Feel free to use these as you'd like and display information on your cover page. Once I'm happy with these settings, I'll go ahead and I'll press Done at the upper left-hand corner of my screen. If I need to, I can view an example of my report looks like at the top right hand corner of my screen, or I can adjust some additional settings within that options menu in that three dot icon. This is a great way for you to add a subtitle or change your title if needed. Going down through this options list, I also can change how many photos are displayed per page or toggle on or off some photo capture details alongside each photo in my report. Once I'm finished here, I'll press done at the upper left hand corner, and now I'm ready to see what this looks like, so I'm going to press view report. Now that it's generated my report, you'll notice that I can scroll through this report and see an example of what it looks like alongside the information that I included. And at the top of the screen, I can also download that as a PDF to make it easier to share. If I come back into company cam, I also can click the options button at the right hand side of the screen and I can share my report or reorder sections as I need. When sharing, you'll be prompted to share it via email or via text to your liking. And that is how you create a new report in CompanyCam.